Gonna be doing a quick demo today on rinseless washes. This Mercedes right here, the level of dirt on it would be a perfect example of when you could use a rinseless wash instead of a traditional hose and bucket wash. As you can tell, there's just a very light amount of dirt on the vehicle, a couple bugs, but not heavy soiled by any means. My go-to rinseless wash solution is American Detailer Garage Wipeout. Love this product. I was using Optimum No Rinse for a long time. I noticed that when I switched to this product, the dirt actually fell out of the towels versus when I was using um, Optimum Polymer Technologies product, the dirt stayed in the towels. I believe Wipeout is a superior product it's going to cost a little bit more, but the concentration ratios are higher, meaning you use less product. So in the end, the cost is going to be the same. If not, you might even be end up being a little bit cheaper in the long run with Wipeout. This is a great product. I recommend it to everyone. Another product I like to use for rinseless washes is it's Meguiar's Rinseless Wash with Carnival Wax. Uh, this works really well as a jam spray and then uh, it's a benefit for the client for when they go wash their vehicle next time uh, clean the jams out the jams will be waxed and they will clean up much easier so i've got my bucket here with a couple rags soaking um, i have two grit guards in here actually this one and then this is just a different bucket but i've also got this style of grit guard in uh, my bucket too i like to put that one on the bottom and the bigger one on top so i can kind of rub my towels on this one and it knocks the dirt off of them and then it uh, falls through these cyclone style grit guards and holds all that dirt in the bottom uh, when i'm washing so the nice thing about when doing a rinseless style wash like this uh, outside black vehicle we got the sun shining is we can do it one quarter panel at a time meaning i can wash the trunk i can wash the fender and dry it immediately after that way as I'm working, I'm not going to be leaving water spots from soaps or hard water sitting on the vehicle. It's going to be addressed immediately as it's applied. So here's something I'll get into in some later episodes on why traditional paste waxes have become such a dead technology and why spray waxes and spray synthetic sealants or ceramic sealants is so much superior of a product. I don't know how well my phone will translate this, but this vehicle has a clear bra on the surface and where the bra meets the paint, this edge, you can tell where a wax, traditional style wax has been applied um, with a spray wax, synthetic wax or synthetic sealant you don't get a white chalky residue like that on the surfaces. So this is kind of an example right here of where someone was polishing, they hit the plastic trim and they faded it and didn't go back and clean it or re-dye it. And you can see more compound up inside there from some dealership work here on this vehicle. So we'll see how well this translates, but I'm gonna show you some, it's called micro scratching and swirling. 99% sure this was from a brush style car wash where they have the big paddle wheel brushes that go across the vehicle. Usually they're subscription washes. People pay you know, 20 bucks a month. You get unlimited washes as well. It does come with some consequences. So in this paint, you can see there's a lot of fine line scratching. It almost looks like spider webbing in the paint. And that is most likely caused by the paddle wheels brushing along the side of this vehicle uh, when it was being washed. Another thing that regular car washes won't get out is you can see between all the emblems here where it just never got cleaned. That's just accumulated dirt and film and everything that just a automatic style wash will not get out. So when I'm doing wheels with a rinseless wash, this is a battery operated pressure washer. Uh, I got it off Amazon. It 
directly feeds from a five gallon bucket that I have. The hose, you don't have to hook it up to a spigot or anything. Drop it in the bucket, turn it on, shoot the wheels. Great tool, love using it for floor mats. Perfect for doing the wheels. You can do it anywhere, a parking lot, uh, at your apartment complex.